What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Counting Wisdom Podcast. You know, do we have to obey Jesus? Yes. You know, um, sometimes when we come to Christ, we think, oh, you know, I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And so, you know, that's it. You know, I don't have to do anything else. Well, in the book of Philippians, it says that many walk, many walk, many are Christian, but their end is destruction. It says that their God is their belly and who glor- whose glory is their shame. So clearly they're supposed to have some sort of glory, but it's been turned into shame. You know, there's a there's a parable of three types of servants. Two of the servants are profitable, but one servant is unprofitable. And it's noted in this parable in the book of Matthew that they're all servants. They're all Christians, but some are not living right. They're they're not uh, or one of them is not living right. He's not living up to the standard. And what he said is, he said, I know that you're a hard man. We reaping where you did not sow. And anyway, he just made excuses talking about how he couldn't use the money that he was given for Jesus. And he made up excuses. And so, you know, you don't want to be found on the last day as a Christian and not living the way you should be. Uh, A great example is the parable of the five wise virgins and the five foolish virgins. You know, five were wise, five were foolish. The foolish ones said to the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out. And the wise said, you know, go and buy for yourselves. And so, you know, clearly there is a distinction between the servants and the foolish and wise virgins. And so I think we all need to take our salvation and ask ourselves okay what are we really using this salvation for are we using it as an excuse to continue in sin you know are we saying things like oh you know God's grace covers me and now I just have comfort so I can continue to sin and It's kind of a weird way of thinking about it, but I guess it's like, you know, if you ever have your conscience bother you when you're sin, and so someone would say, oh, you know, now that I am a Christian, you know, my conscience doesn't bother me when I sin, and it's like you're just using it as an excuse to kind of say sorry and keep going, and really our salvation is used to change us into more being more like Christ the Bible says let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from sin that's found in the book of 2nd Timothy and so it says you know hey it's clearly making a distinction saying that there are those who name the name of Christ that need to depart from sin but they aren't and you know there's times where I think we have grace where you know we may not know any better we're still reading the Bible we're still learning about God and so you know you may not know oh you know I shouldn't be doing this but yet you're going to church and you know I think There is grace for those types of people, but, you know, that doesn't excuse that sin. It doesn't excuse the wrong. And so, 
you know, Jesus wants us all to come out of sin, you know, uh, he said that a slave doesn't remain in the house forever, but a son remains in the house forever. And so we have become sons of God or children of God, but there are some warnings that we need to heed. Um, and one of those is let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity, depart from sin. And so, you know, as we read the Bible more, you know, I think we can't just be one that says, oh, you know, um, I'm not going to read the Bible that much. Like, I've given my life to Christ. There's a great example of um, in the Pilgrim's Progress, there's this guy who makes it all the way to the gates into the kingdom of God. And he doesn't have his ticket in, but he's saying things like, oh, you know, I know Jesus, you know, I, I, I'm here, you know, I, I showed up, you know, I'm, I'm ready to enter into the kingdom, but he doesn't have the ticket to get in. And so how many of us Christians are, you know, following Jesus, but yet we don't have what he has given us. We're just following him without really following him. We're, we're kind of just saying, hey, I'm a Christian, but, you know, we aren't really walking by the spirit. And the Bible says that, you know, if we walk according to the flesh, we will die. And I think that's kind of overlooked a lot in, you know, certain aspects of Christianity, you know, um, that we kind of have this thought of, oh, I can do anything I want. And that's not the case because you know, certain things that we do, depending on what it is, has negative consequences, you know? There are some things that God is not going to necessarily overlook, depending on what it is, depending on the nature of how it is done. And I tend to stick to what Scripture says of you know, if we practice certain things, we will not inherit the kingdom of God. But, sure, I do believe that is talking about unbelievers. You know, that's talking about people who aren't born again. But, scripture also says that no one who is born of God continues to sin. And it's, it literally says that this is the distinction between children of God and children of the devil. And so, you know, that should be a warning to us to say, you know, hey, if we do sin, you know, we have to really examine ourselves and ask ourselves, you know, okay, am I really living up to what it means to be a Christian? And sure, you know, God can be patient with us, you know, um, I don't think that one sin is going to uh, disqualify you from ever making it to heaven, you know, but I think that, you know, there also isn't one sin that God can't free you from, and sure, there are some things that are hard to overcome. You know, I mentioned that in my other podcast about sexual sin. Um, to me, that's one of the stronger ones that are, you know, it's kind of difficult to see sometimes. But some other things that are kind of difficult would be, you know, anger, getting angry at the wrong thing or being angry for the wrong reason. Um, 
envy, jealousy, you know, those things are hard to overcome. And I think we have to ask ourselves, you know, does God want me to be free, completely free from sin? Now, there are certain Christians, you know, that believe that we will always sin in some way before we get to heaven. And, you know, I'm not necessarily disagreeing with that. I think, I think I'm trying to just say the same thing as other Christians. You know, we're all supposed to be of the same mind. But I do believe that there are certain sins that we shouldn't be practicing. You know, uh, we shouldn't be continuing to do. We should be saying something like, hey, I used to do that. Or, you know, it should be in our testimony. Like, hey, I used to be this type of person, but I overcame that. And so, you know, yes, we do need to obey God. And I think it's very important for us to know what it means to obey God. I mean, some of the bigger commands are like love one another. You know, are we loving other Christians or are we just angry with them all the time? Are we fault finding, pointing a finger at every little thing that they're doing wrong? And sure, we all have different things that we look at differently in the Bible. But, you know, I think we definitely need to continue to repent when we are showing dislove, you know, disloving another Christian and then um, Jesus said to believe you know the clear teaching in the gospel is whoever believes and is baptized will be saved whoever does not believe will be condemned and so you know I believe that when we believe and we continue to believe that that is what frees us from sin and that is what is required is our belief and I believe that when we have that real belief in Jesus that there's no reason why we wouldn't be reading the Bible every day or when I say read the Bible or listen to the Bible or watch something about the Bible every day or you know I don't think there's any reason why someone wouldn't get baptized even though you know we can kind of argue like should someone get baptized or is it necessary for salvation and we kind of have these discussions but you know we can't really say they're, you know, an able-bodied person, someone who is, you know, a normal type of person. You know, there's no reason why someone wouldn't get baptized or there's no reason why someone wouldn't stop a certain sin. You know, I mean, yeah, I think there are periods of time where we feel like we're bound to a sin and, and we may be bound but, um, I mean, in a lifetime, I think that if you really want to be free, you're going to get that revelation from God. You're going to get that power that you need from God. And then it becomes a choice of, you know, every day you just need maybe more tempted or less tempted, but you have the choice of, you know, oh, I'm not going to give in to this sin today. Or, you know, you, you could be reflecting and looking back on, wow, you know, God delivered me from those sins or that bad habit, you know. And so um, I believe there is a somewhat... Uh, lie out there in the Christian community sometimes that you know um, we can't be free from sin or we shouldn't 
be obeying Jesus or something like that. And we all need to be forgiving. You know, I saw a great video of the Amish people who forgave someone who really harmed the Am the Amish community. And so I think we all need to be practicing, you know, everything that the Bible teaches, not just one part, not just believing, you know, but believe and get baptized or believe and forgive or believe and love one another or believe and do all the other instructions that are found in the New Testament. You know, we have to walk by the Spirit. And if you're not fully sure about what it means to walk by the Spirit, then, you know, you need to do that research. You know, do that Google search, that YouTube search. You know, um, I know I've found a few people who believe that we shouldn't be walking in sin. Now, there may not be a whole lot of people who collectively believe that, but I know that there are a few out there, and um, I believe that it's kind of like what the whole Bible is about, you know, to me, it, it is kind of obvious, even though we may not see it all the time, it's obvious that, you know, God is clearly wanting us to not walk in sin, and that is kind of like the whole message of the Bible and the whole test that we are given and there's probably so much more to life other than you know what we're uh, kind of struggling with now but uh, anyway I wanted to make a video that you know uh, or a podcast maybe I'll make a video as well but um you know, yes, we are to obey Jesus. We are to obey the instructions in the Bible. And I think that if you're stopping at, you know, hey, I believe in Jesus and that's it, you know, I think you are uh, definitely needing to heed what the other scriptures are telling us, you know. Um, which I've already mentioned about departing from iniquity, but, you know, there's so many commands. I have a video or podcast about the commands and doing the commands. Um, and I did make a um, kind of an explanation about what is sin. And um, so anyway... Um, I, I just think that, you know, um, right, if we're just stopping at saying, hey, I'm a Christian, you know, I think there's so much more to being a Christian than just saying you're a Christian. And, you know, that's how I was when I was a high schooler, you know, I was just saying, hey, I'm a Christian, but I didn't really knew, know what that meant you know sure I kind of saw a Jesus movie when I was in high school and even in middle school you know I would I would if you were to ask me if I was a Christian I would most likely say you know yes yes I, I am a Christian but you know I was a Christian that didn't read my Bible you know I was a Christian that didn't pray let alone, if I wasn't reading my Bible, I wasn't praying, you know, I didn't know any of the commands of Jesus. You know, I didn't know really the teachings of Jesus, you know, and all I knew was Jesus. And, you know, there has to be so many Christians out there that are like that, that, you know, are just knowing the name of Jesus and that's it you know they know about the cross but you know they don't know any details about you know 
the Bible or anything like that. And so, would I have gone to heaven if I died? You know, I I don't know. You know, obviously, I'm not so quick to condemn myself, but, you know, um, I know that Philippians says, there are many who walk, but their end is destruction. You know, that should be a warning to all of us that, you know, not everyone who names the name of Christ is going to heaven, you know, and I guess we can't fully, you know, make a conclusion, you know, uh, from a human standpoint, you know, we can't just say, say that, but, you know, there's the lighter side to this, you know, the thief on the cross in his last dying breath, you know, he said, hey, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And as far as we know, that that guy was a thief all the way up until he went on the cross. You know, and so we don't have any record of him doing any righteous acts or, I mean, maybe he did, but it's just a maybe. You know, we don't know anything of other than that he was a thief. And the Bible records him as one. You know, it doesn't even say that he was falsely accused or anything. And so, you know, there is this lighter side to that. Is that, you know, literally the thief on the cross did as little as possible that you could possibly do. And Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. So, I can understand, you know, how it's easy to think that we're going to heaven. But, you know, the reality is that, hey, we're still on earth. You know, we're still here. And that should be a warning enough to us to say, okay, I shouldn't act like I'm in heaven already. I should make sure I'm living my life pleasing to the Lord. And, um, you know, uh, we'll have strength of salvation when we grow in wisdom from the Word of God, when we grow in knowledge. And, you know, God Himself said, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And so, um, I think we should use every day to, you know, really just grow in knowledge and grow in the things of God. And, um, why, why let ourselves, you know, possibly even have an end of destruction, you know, we'll feel better when we know that hey, we did everything that we knew to do. You know, we did all the instructions that were in the Bible and we practiced it every day. Instead of practicing sin every day, we practiced righteousness. We practiced, you know, the things of the Word of God every day. And, you know, Sure, we might make some mistakes, but mistakes are different than sin, you know, and I think there is a light at the end of the tunnel of our struggle saying that no one who is born of God continues to sin. And so that should be our goal. So anyway, thanks so much for checking out this podcast. Hopefully this was helpful to someone. And I will talk to you on the next podcast. See ya.